Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. And as you can tell by the account in the corner, we got a few things we're going to do today. Uh, one of them is we're going to watch the Sunbeam and meet its demise. Uh, as you can also tell too by the half an hour change, I have done a few things. I've went and tried to gather a little bit of lithium and some other things. Uh, what I want to do is I want to try to do some upgrades, to, not only do some upgrades to the sea moth, but I'm thinking about making a second sea moth and with a second moon pool. Uh, at the same time, too, uh, we are thinking about moving the base. Uh, I know there's a thermal vent somewhere, so i got to make some beacons for it and find out exactly where it is, because, honestly, I'm getting lost all the time around here. Uh, if it wasn't for the beacons, speaking of beacons, where is uh, Sunbeam? Where are you, Sunbeam? Where are you going to be? I think you're going to be in that direction. I have no idea. I'm not getting the Sunbeam's location anymore. Hmm. What is going on? Why are my beacons not showing up? That is weird. I gotta go inside. Hang on. I see it. Uh, almost missed this one. So this is the island with the big gun, for what I remember. Uh, let's hope we can get there in time. We got two minutes. Uh, there was a radio, radio call I should have answered, but we'll try to get there as fast as we can. Uh, I've been seeing these warpers around a lot too lately. I have actually seen a few of them. So it's definitely what the I have a feeling that was one of them. I have no idea. But, I'm assuming the island we're looking for is in that fog that we can actually sort of see it in the water. That is so weird. There it is. Alright, let's, uh, let's go watch the fireworks show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have a snack after the show. There it is. The big gun. Alright, so what's that? Where should we land? Well, I'm not going to be able to get a good view from in here. Let's see if we can get up on, on the land. Oh, I can. Big giant gun. Let's actually, let's actually get out right here. Oh, he's actually where it's supposed to land. We got a perfect shot. Let's get up on the land so I'm not swimming around anymore. All right. Screenshot time. Oh yes. Alright, where is it? Where is the sunbeam? Granted, it probably could be in it. Nice. That is really cool. Did a good job on it. Where are you, Sunbeam? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? Oh, there it is. Oh, where is what it? Do you mean you can't identify it? I don't see you. Hold on. No turning back now. Might help if I clean my monitor too. Where is it? Where is it? It's coming from the building. Change uh -oh. course. Set thrusters to full. Oh, goodbye, sunbeam. I didn't even see it. 
I might have to go back to the recording so you can actually see it. Uh, let's just hope I don't get hurt by anything. I guess there's more loot to explore, check out, huh? So, is this going to reset or what? Must have been a small ship, there wasn't a whole lot of, a lot of wreckage. Huh? You gotta be... Okay, that moves. Get away from my sea moth. Oh wait, are you dead? Go away, little bugger. Impressive. Okay, so let's uh, set back. Head back this way. Uh, one of the things I was doing is I was talking before we headed off was getting like some, getting some sort of defense for the one of the sea moths. I'm now gonna have one that's sort of like sort of like a li little mini tank. It's got a defense system, the hull upgrade and whatnot. Yeah, I'll take care of that very soon. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying oh yeah, and then just have one that's like a little pack mule. It's basically all storage with uh, one depth module. And go from there. What is that noise? I have no idea. But anyways, I'll meet you back once I get something to eat here. Okay, I'm back. And while we're here, we might as well take care of this. Check that out. Let's uh, uh, that one there. 250 meters. Okay, we're good. Uh, what I did want to do is go upstairs, up to the scanner room, which is over here. I want to look at making that upgrade to transfer everything to the hut. I've had it going right now. I found out. I'm actually finding out how this works. It shows up a new one every cycle. So these are all the wrecks in the area, and I'm guessing this is new stuff from the Sunbeam. I'm not 100% sure. But there's this one here. This is a uh, scanner room HUD, so I just need a computer chip. I did find magnetite, which is which is good. I, um, where was I find that? I was down where those purple mushrooms were. So I need to go down here, and we need to make a computer chip. Uh, I don't think I have enough to make it. I need table coral and copper wire. So, I think that was upstairs, was it not? Uh, as I said too, I also want to move the, move the base, move it somewhere else, so at least we get the resources back. So I need table coral, where did I put that? It's not in there. I guess I gotta go grab some. That's fine, we got some downstairs. I needed table coral and copper wire. Uh, I did have copper wire in the knot. I did. Oh. I find it funny how you can walk with that PDA open. Well, not really that funny because you can do that in real life. Usually end up walking into something like I, I just did there. Alright, table coral, please. Alright. Back up we go. Let's go up this way. All right, give me a computer chip, please. Oops, over here. I was wondering what I was going to need the gold for, and now I know what I need the gold for. It's good to know I'm finding a fair amount of it. All right, so now we got to go back up to the scanner room. And over here. Nope. <laughs> Getting lost all the time. All right, let's uh, get that knife away before I hurt myself. 
Okay. Out <laughs> ah, of power. Uh, good thing I got that bioreactor. Cheap, efficient power, but this is why I want to get to the, over to the, the thermal vent. Alright, so we go up here. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we gotta wait for the power to generate. Uh, let's actually turn this off. Maybe that'll save some power. I highly doubt it. Alright, uh, give me a moment. Okay, sun finally came up. Now we're actually getting some more power. This is kind of why I want to get to the thermal vent. Uh, just so I actually have a proper source of power. Okay, so I guess I put that in here. Uh, I guess just does that automatically. Oh. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, that's handy. That's handy. Does it show life pods too? No, it doesn't. Oh, we'll get the Rex going for now. So let's go and check out Life Pod 12, shall we? And I could have gone inside, inside, but whatever. Not like doing it this way. Come on. All right. Oop. All systems online. It's almost like I've never driven this thing before. Sunk to the ocean bed. Okay, so uh, I guess I should have made some inventory space. I'm gonna go and make a couple of storage modules, put some stuff away, and then I'll meet you back at Life Pod 12. And here we are, and this is actually where I need to go to find those gel sacks to make the aerogel. I do believe. I think I get them around these things. Not 100% sure. Oh, hello, whatever you are. Right, let's try to get somewhere safe here. Go away. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? Of course not. So I got to get some torpedoes on this thing. I don't like you either. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, you're over there. You can stay over there. Okay. Let's go in. Where's the opening? Where is the opening? It's on this side here. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, propulsion cannon. Alright. That's nothing. Take the PDA. Anything else in here? No. Whoop. Okay. Let's see if we can find any of these gel sacks on here. I think they were around these things. Or maybe that was the other ones that were tethered. Possibly. And why are the wrecks not showing up now? Am I too far away? Oh, there's a wreck right here. Let's go check it out, shall we? And what is that? Is that actually just scrap? Yeah, it's just scrap. Let's see if we can find the rest of the Cyclops or just a couple parts to it. And you are going to be a nuisance. Yes, you are. That's a grow bed. I already have a grow bed. 
And a desk. And that was nothing. He's trying to zap me. And it's a chair. That's salt. Nothing I need. I'm sure there's something in here. Yeah, oh jeez. I just saw this uh, Seamod Celt. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out why the scanner isn't showing up. Maybe it's just because I'm not in, sh in range of the scanning room now, possibly. Uh, I get my right. CMOS repaired and we'll go check out some of these wrecks now that I got the cutting tool. So I'll be right back. And yes, it is a range thing. All right, well, let's, uh, I thought it would actually tell, tell me how far they are, but let's go check out this one. See what we have. I have no idea which ones I've been to, which ones I haven't. But it is okay. I definitely do have to go back to that island though and try to find some of that fruit. Start getting that planted. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've been to this one. Let's see what we got here. And nothing. Nothing but a chunk of the sea moth. Alright, next is going to be... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell which one's closer. But we might as well go check them all out. this one here so I've been here let's go down and check this one out I have no idea what that sound is okay I've been here already I know that yes been here but maybe just happened to find another piece of the Cyclops here somewhere and it doesn't look like it I've probably gotten it all already Alright, the next one is going to be... That one. Let's go check it out. I should look at... It's not picking this one up for some reason. That's weird. And of course I've been to this one already. But I think I need magma more magnetite for a range upgrade. Ooh. Hello. That one must have just got picked up. This is one I actually need to cut my way into. If I haven't done so already. And it... Oh yeah, I had to actually repair, had to repair this. And then the door opened and I had to cut my way in on the inside. Alright, so this is that one. Let's go look around and see if we can find anything. I'm gonna chance it. I could use the quartz. I could always use quartz. Alright, what else do we have? More scrap. That looks like about it for here. I just realized where we are. <laughs> We're like right at the Aurora. Yep. So we'll head back this way. So I'm gonna head off to the next wreck and I'll bring you back if I find anything interesting. So I found a wreckage here. I don't know if I've been in here or not. Let's go take a look. I do have my sea glide on me with a battery in it. Sort of. Mm. Uh, I actually might need that laser cutter. Uh, don't need the builder. Oh, what do you know? 
somewhere I haven't been. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, I have been here apparently. Door's been cut. Yes, I was here already. Alright, back at her. Alright, so I found another wreck I haven't been in. It's not exactly the safest place for me to be right now. Ooh, modification station. Definitely worth it. Uh, I have seen a few warpers around, so I do need to be careful. Aha! Modification station. Alright. Now, what else we got in here? Anything in here worth risking my life for? Swivel chair? Why not? Just because. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I got the modification station. And uh, nothing else in here that I know of. No, it wasn't there. I thought there was another thing here. No. Let's see what's in here. Uh, I think I need to get some air before I risk my life that down there. 30 seconds of what? I didn't think so. Alright. I'm hoping I can find that battery charger. So we'll go down here and then here and then let's uh, go down here. Alright, I guess it's this way. station uh, nothing by the looks of it is there actually an opening now command chair sure all right well I'm probably gonna miss something but I'm probably gonna die too so I just want to get out of here if I can how did I get in here uh oh uh oh I think I'm gonna die. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, that was close. Okay, so now we got the modification station. Now, is there any other parts of the Cyclops around here? There is this. Maybe this is something good. Does it give me? It gives me titanium. That's fine. We always need titanium. Now, is there anything else? I don't think so. Thermal vent. I do have to watch out for that. See, I would almost want to try to use that for power. If I could. Oh, there goes another fish. I hope it was a big guy. Is he following me? No. Alright, well, I'm gonna continue my journey here and see if I can find anything else. So, I'll bring you back. Alright, well, I haven't had the best of luck trying to find anything. It's just a lot of sea moth fragments. But, anyways, let's see what this is. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. All right. Well, let's find exactly where they are here. Data bank. Uh, southwest of the Aurora's stern. I don't even have the compass. All right, well, uh, go back out here like I always do for some reason. Actually, let's get that modification station built. Why not? Okay, so we gotta get back into here. Uh, I really would have liked to have that 
Um, battery charger. Uh, where's the builder? There's the builder. Okay, modification station. Computer chip and lead. Uh, I got the lead. So the computer chip was. Uh, let's see here. Computer chip was table core, copper wire. So let me gather that up, and then we'll get that built. Okay, so I have the modification station, or everything I need for it, and I guess we'll we'll put it over here if we can. Let's actually put it right in this corner. Why not? All right, that's what we're gonna do here. Ooh. Knife upgrades. Okay. Ooh, I can actually do this. Uh, high capacity air tank. Oh, there's the ultra glide fins. Okay, what else? That's for the potion cannon. Cyclops upgrades we don't have. Uh, depth modules. Wow, that gets expensive. Very expensive. And I don't have the prawn suit yet, so we're not going to worry about that. Alright, so, let me see what is going to be next. Uh, I guess we're going to see what we're going to do about this Aurora. What should I do for... Uh, no, we want... Or, not the Aurora. The Sea Moth. The Red Baron to Red Sea Baron. Don't need the sonar. Can't afford the sonar. So you know, thinking about the torpedo system and then using the gas torpedoes just in the event of uh, the nasty thing with the uh, grab ship by the face, the reaper, yes, the reaper. So let me go back upstairs, we gotta go make that aerogel, which I believe was, it was what, gel sack and... See here, advanced chemicals, gel second ruby. Uh, do I even have a ruby? I know I got a gel sack here somewhere. There's that. Am I out of rubies? Maybe I got something downstairs. I highly doubt it though. Nope. Uh, nope. Dead battery and garbage. All right, well we're not making that then. Uh, where would I find the rubies? Oh, I think that was down where those green mushroom, purple mushrooms are. So we might have to do that next episode. I wanna do want to try to get some more magnet titans, whatnot. But anyways, I think we're gonna call it here. Um, I want to get this torpedo system set up before we go and ex investigate the Aurora a little bit more. Just too many run-ins with those damn damn reapers. I don't know any other way to get away from them. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.